So I'm having a little bit of a dilemma here. The back wheels are 26 inches apart. I'm thinking about aligning these, the front wheels with the back wheels, just making it 26 inches. I don't want the front wheels to be super narrow because the more narrow it is, the more topsy-turvy it becomes. However, if it's narrow, you can fit in a lot of places. So like, uh, like bike paths or sidewalks and stuff. That's one advantage for having such a narrow wheelbase. Okay. I think I'm gonna do 30 inches. I'm gonna have the front wheels out uh, 30 inches in length. So that'll be four inches, two inches on each side. Gives it just a little bit, out, you know, that's probably not gonna make a huge difference, but so about four inches. So before, that'll be eight inches. So is that 22? So I'm gonna need a 22 inch pipe. actually decided to make this separate. I'm gonna make the front end first before I mold it. So I'm glad I only tacked it. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. I got half of the front end done. Um, I have it propped up right now, only because it's only connected to the frame over there, only on one point. I'm still waiting on getting bearings. I'm missing two bearings for both sides of my spindles. So I'm waiting on that order. That, that order is delayed. I'm not gonna sit on it only because it's only welded on one end. I still gotta build the bumper for it. So this front end is pretty much the same front end uh, I did on my previous build with the reverse trike. Kind of because I got my steering forks. Now before I didn't have that. Uh, it was just was only connected on one side of the spindle and uh, this is a 3 8 axle and uh, that's really really thin. Now on a small bike, a little BMX bike, you can get away with it because frame's not heavy, the heaviest thing is you. However, this build, I can't do it because this build is much, much larger and it's much heavier. I got all this weight, so I can't, I gotta support both ends of that little axle there. Otherwise, if I only have it connected to the spindle on one side of the hub, you can shear that little axle off. 
So that's why I decided to uh, use forks instead. So now it's supported on either end. I also gave it 10 degree, no not 10 degree. I also gave it eight, eight and a half degrees of caster on these, uh, uh, on the spindles here. Now it doesn't look like it because I got the bike propped up. So it, you know, the bike's at an angle. Now I didn't want to get aggressive with the caster on this. It's good to have a caster if you got two wheels in the front. It's good to have it, but with something like this, something that's already uh, topsy-turvy, caster can actually work against you with that. So if you ever built go-karts, you would know. You get that, uh, with the caster, you get the cart jacking, and what that does is, because the caster's at an angle, it's gonna lean the frame in a, uh, every time you turn to like the left, it'll lean to the right. If you turn to the right, it'll lean to the left. And uh, here, let me show you. So if I'm gonna to turn to the left, see how it kind of lifts the frame up in the back? If I turn to the right, hey, you can hardly tell on the camera, but anyways, I, I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but that's, oh, cart jacking. That's one of the side effects to having a caster. Caster's good, you know, it helps with steering, but that's one of the things you gotta watch out for. I also found a buddy, I found a friend down here. But uh, there's a spider down there. As I was welding, it was freaking out. Luckily, he didn't jump into the puddle. Or it's that, that spider would have been one with the frame. Anyways, I also am debating on reusing the rear basket. This basket was back there. But I'm debating on reusing it. So if I build this front end, I'm gonna have to build... Uh, so I can't build it low because then it'll get in the way of the tires. Unless I turn it sideways but then it'll be too long. Yeah, so I'm gonna have it like this, but I'm gonna have it mounted a little high up. Anyways, I wanna, I'm debating on using this basket. Not sure if I'm gonna do it. As of right now, it just holds my extension cord. Well, I think I'm gonna call it for this one. Uh, that was a lot, of, a lot of work, a lot of fabrication. The back end, now I can't, this was a simple trick. I can't call this a simple trike anymore because this is not simple. Well, it's not a trike anymore either. The back end was really, really easy. Only like one thing to fabricate the engine mount. So I could do all that in one video. This takes a little while though. A lot of machining and fabricating. This is not simple. So I don't want to break it up into multiple videos, but I'm going to have to. And never mind that stuff over there. That's a little sneak peek on a future project. But anyways, I'm going to call it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.